Hey guys, Colleen here. Welcome back to my channel. Woo, it is a hot day and I'm like, you know what, Colleen? I don't know why I'm speaking about myself in third person. Anyhow, yeah. So I'm like, you know what, y'all? It is hot as a whoo. So your girl is definitely going to try out the CoverGirl Vitalist Elixir Healthy Elixir Foundation today because it is hot, you know, and it's been a while since I have done one of these foundation, um, not just review, but wear test, you know, and I know you guys tend to love um, these videos from me. I think the last one I did was the Ellie Girl Pro Mat, and that got a couple good reviews and I you know I had to try it out and that video did very well um, you know so I'm like why not try out another drugstore foundation because I used up a couple of my other ones I'm like I was in the market for one even though I'm on a new bike but you know so let me just prep my skin with the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Soft Matte Pro Filter Primer to prime the face and I know a lot of y'all have been saying my skin has been looking really good these days so thank you for noticing your girl trying you know drinking her water minding her own business that kind of stuff you know ignoring the haters <laughs> I don't know wild 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 anyhow so yes, yeah, so I got the shade um, 760 Classic Tan. This comes with 14. This line of um, foundation comes with comes in 14 shades. Colleen, get your life together. 14 shade shades. It does come with a pump that has a locking feature on it, which I do like. Note to everyone that the um, <clears throat> the lid with constant um, use and pulling it off does become a bit slack and the foundation could fall right off if you hold it by the lid. So try and hold it by the bottle and not the lid. I learned that out the hard way when I went searching for this foundation. Um, I went to Starlight um, Pharmacy in Maraval and they had the full line there, 14 shades. Of course, my problem first and foremost is the fact that it's not very um, inclusive. So there aren't that many deeper dark um, shades, which I mean, it's 2019, guys. Could we like do away with this, you know, not including everybody bit? It's getting to be a bit old now. You know, Rihanna came out with 10, 10 more shades to her already very inclusive foundation range so you know I mean cover girl let's let's do better now so yeah getting back to the story so when I was testing it out in starlight one of them fell loose and fell the bottle did not shatter which is like thank god you know but um, it did fall loose you know which of course was a concern of mine and what was interesting this is the interesting part of that story the csr who of course couldn't be bothered to assist me in the first instance because she was busy chatting chatting with her friend all right um noticed and she said um to hand her the foundation all right now the way she said it, she's like, um, pass me the foundation. And I'm like, thinking to myself, who the hell are you talking to? So I was like, pass you the foundation, please. I said it like twice, and then it registered to her what I was saying. And then she said, please, but Starlight, if you're really watching this, train, train your staff to actually be customer service friendly because I really wasn't putting up with that sorry 
you know I am very particular when it comes to things like that you know so um, back to the foundation now this foundation only comes in 14 shades so I know like for instance people who are deeper in complexion to me and I am a MAC NC45 for reference you all are going to have a very hard time um, finding something that will match you um, I find like the more shade variety was more in the medium range I am more like the tan to deep range and I was probably the third or fourth to last deeper shade and I know I am not in terms of how many shades out there the third or the fourth to last deeper shade you know so that's something they really need to work on but um, this foundation is supposed to be from what they say a very hydrating foundation which um, you could tell from the finish it is not matte it's not matte it's like a what's a good way to describe this foundation finish like a satin because it's you're seeing some like sheen to it you know so it's a hydrating foundation so somebody with drier skin could would probably like this a lot I don't know how people with oily skin will feel like really oily skin like I said um, earlier I have been taking care of my skin so it is not as oily as it used to be it is buildable coverage um, I would say this is like medium this is not full coverage because I am seeing like my freckles on my nose and I just stipple in some more foundation there to try and cover it up a little bit you know <clears throat> yeah so yeah it is buildable it's supposed to be vitamin infused which I like you know because the vitamin components would be um, you know more forgiving on the skin especially if you're an older person you know they say it's like vitamin E B B complex and it's also have SPF 20 in it which again I do like you know because we you know then hot sun a little a little spiff protection would be nice so I'm just going in with my fave drugstore concealer, the Maybelline Adrian Wine. Uh, I will link um, a review of it in the cards if you're interested in watching that review. You know, but it has become a fast fave of mine. Alright. Especially if you want something a little natural um, on the go cool kind of look. Cause we just going to get some food today you know nothing too big mm. okay. just a little bit down the snow just deal with this blend it out and then we'll chat some more okay this is the finished look um should I put on lashes let's put on lashes okay so this is a finished look I had to put on lashes it was looking a little naked without them but these aren't like the crazy ones these are the Ardell Demi Wispies that I like to use for like regular looks but um how do you like the finish of this foundation I actually do but of course you know all foundations most of them let me not say all most of them tend to look very good on first application so we are going to be testing this out it's really hot today 
it's a lot of warning. I think the weather is going to change. I'm not too sure. Sinuses are acting up. Um, so yeah, let me just go grab lunch and do some check-ins, right? So this is the foundation so far. We have been up and up, up and about, right, for some a couple of hours. Hi uh, guys. <laughs> We went to the mall. Um, Long Circle. Yeah, we went to Long Circle Mall. We actually went to the Pennywise. Um, it is really nice, guys. Like, whoa, wild and tell a home girl. It was that nice. Like, it was nice. And the people there were helpful. Like, the Pennywise girls were like fighting to help. Uh, Maya? Yeah. Or she's busy stuffing her face. Mm. But it has been really like hot today. Um, so in terms of how it looks, it's still holding up pretty well. It has this worn in look at the moment, which is not bad. I'm not mad at it because it does look like my skin at the end of the day. Let's check it out in natural sunlight. Yeah. So... <laughs> This is my face in natural sunlight. It looks good. Like my makeup still looks very good. And the foundation looks really good. You know, and it's a couple hours worn in. You know. I don't know. Yeah. Right now they're on a sugar high, so I just waiting for somebody to jump through a window. You know, we have to look for a lot of ticket, right? Mommy, pull up a two two. Teeth. Two teeth, honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my tongue purple. <laughs> All right. So let me go get that little ticket and head home. All right. So whew, this is it. After like four hours of wear, not bad. Not bad at all. You know, it still has a very skin-like, um, natural, lived-in look. So, I guess someone who has dry skin or combination skin, this might actually work for you. Um, I really can't say too much for people with very oily skin. Like I mentioned previously, I have been taking care of my skin, so it is not as oily, dehydrated as it used to be. You know, um, it did oxidize a smidget, just a smidget, but I still think it's a very good match for me. You know, it doesn't look like a mask on my face, but this is it. Um, I'm pleased, I'm happy I found another drugstore option that I can use. So if you're in the market, I did see these in... Pennywise and they're about 95 TT dollars um, for my American friends it's between 10 to 13 US depending on where you get it I think Amazon has it the cheapest and CVS has it the most expensive I believe you know um, for those who <clears throat> are watching don't worry I will list all the makeup products I use for this look um, I did use the Colourpop Oolala palette to create this eye look. Um, let me know if you want like a Valentine's Day look with this palette. Um, I'm not too sure if I will get it up in time for Valentine's Day, but I'll try or at least do one of those soft romantic pink looks. Uh, just let me know in the um, comments below, you know. Um, uh, let me just send you to my earlier self where the makeup is fresher you know and yeah so i think that is about it right if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe and until the next time bye